Hello everybody, how's everybody doing? Hope everybody's getting along well. I have another devotional I want to read to you. This one is entitled, No Divisions Among You. And I'll be reading from my Bible, Matthew chapter 12, verses 48 and 50. And 1 Corinthians 1, chapter 1, verse 10. Okay, I'm reading Matthew. But he answered and said to the one who told him, Who is my mother and who are my brothers? And he stretched out his hand toward his disciples and said, Here are my mother and my brothers, for whoever does the will of my Father in heaven is my brother and sister and mother. Hey, now for Corinthians. Now I plead with you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that you all speak the same thing, and that there are be no divisions among you, but that you be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. Amen. All right, that's the Bible reading. Now the devotion. Tribalism, a sense of loyalty and belonging to a group, can be a healthy thing when it helps us understand where we fit and to how to function together. When taken to extremes, however, it leads to polarizing, polarization, and hostility. This is especially common when we meet someone who doesn't look, think, or worship the way we do. But Christ calls us to, to a better way. When someone told Jesus that his family was waiting outside, he replied, Who is my mother and who are my brothers? Whoever does the will of my Father who is in heaven, he is my brother and sister and mother. There are no in or out groups with Jesus. No special circle or clique. In him we are one family whole and and inviolate and pretty and petty differences shouldn't separate us. Consider your church family. Does everyone look and think the way you do? How might you go about forming bonds with other believers who through different though different in many ways are your brothers and sisters in Christ. Mm. Yes, let's all have unity. Let's all get along together. No matter who we are. Because we're all brothers and sisters in Christ. Amen. Alright, I hope you all enjoyed the reading. But meant something to you. And until I read to you again, God bless you all. Good night.